Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, if it is your first time here. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the eyeshadow palette tag. I know this was popular a few months ago, but I'm just not getting around to do it, and that's okay. It's okay that it's a little bit late. You don't have to always keep up with the trends. This palette tag was created by Samantha March and Allie Kleins. And it basically just lists some questions about your eyeshadow palettes and you pick palettes that fit each category and just talk about why they fit that category. So if you are interested in seeing some of the palettes that I have in my collection, then just keep watching. So the first question is the newest palette in your collection and that is my Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed palette. This I got in my Boxy Charm this past month and I've used it I think two or three times now and it's just not my favorite. The mattes are very soft and come out a lot lighter than what they look like in the pan. And these tones are just not really my style. So I'm actually going to be giving this palette to my mom at some point. Next is the oldest palette in your collection. And that is my ColourPop X Kathy Lights Dream Street palette. This I got right when it released. I think I was a sophomore in high school, so that was four years ago I think and I have used the crap out of this it was in my September shop my stash bag but it's just such a good palette and even though I've had this for like four or five years now the quality is still really 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 nice and I really love this palette this is probably something I will end up keeping forever the next category is the most expensive palette in your collection and that is by far my Natasha Vanilla Tropic palette now I also have the Natasha Vanilla on that safari palette and that is priced the same as this palette but i just didn't pull that one just because it's in my shop my stash and you guys just saw it in a video but they are actually the same price this i didn't actually pay a full price for it this i got half off it was on sale at sephora but the retail value is i think like 129 dollars which is definitely the most expensive palette in my collection Next is the most affordable palette in your collection, and that is the e.l.f. Bite Size palette. I know that this is basically everyone's most affordable palette in their collection, but these are like literally $3, so... This is the Carnival Candy palette, and I've actually only used this once, but the one time that I did use it, it was so beautiful, and I love it. My everyday palette, which is the next category, is my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. Now, this is just the tones I love to wear every day. These kind of like burnt red warm tones are so beautiful to me and I definitely reach for this almost every single day of like my junior year of high school just because it is so perfect. Next is the most colorful palette and I know so many people said they're more the X James Charles palette for this one but I actually chose my Pure X Raw Beauty Crystal palette for this category just because I wanted to. I really enjoy this palette and maybe the James Charles one is it does have more colors in it, but the, the, I just wanted to talk about this one because I love it so much. And I think that for what it is, you have every color that you need and it's just such a perfect little palette. Next we have the smallest palette, which again is my e.l.f. Bite Size Palette in Carnival Candy. It's four shades. It's really small compared to like my Naked Urban Decay palette, it is a tiny little Bella, tiny, tiny, tiny. And biggest palettes in your collection, this is, again, a lot of people's biggest palette. This is one of the big Morphe 39 shade palettes. This is the 39A Dare to Create. I've only used this one time, <laughs> but this is the biggest palette that I have in my collection. And the palette with the best memory attached to it goes to my Morphe X Jekyll Hill Volume 1 eyeshadow palette. 
this palette I used in my junior year of high school when I did makeup for the play we did, which was a party in the musical, I should say. And I used this on almost every single person that I did makeup on, just because for the look we did, these six shades down here were perfect. So as you can see, I used the crap out of this one right here and I just used a lot of these dark tones down here and that was just a really fun time in my life. I really liked doing that makeup look and yeah, just like the best memories attached to it. Next is a palette that is worth the hype and that is going to go to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I know literally everyone and their mother talks about this palette, but it is so good. It is a really good everyday palette. I almost, almost, almost chose this for my everyday palette category, but I just had to get that one just to make it heat. And this one fits perfectly for Worthy Hype. I feel like every single person on YouTube has this palette and raves about it, but it is because it literally has every single shade that you could possibly need for a really natural, beautiful day-to-day look and I definitely think that it is 100% worth the hype if you have been considering getting this palette but you just haven't like taken the plunge yet get it this is your sign to get this palette a palette that is not worth the hype that is going to go to my ColourPop X Nigga Moon Pretty Guardian palette and I know that this ranked really high in my eyeshadow palettes that I've gotten this year and although that ranked high in this, it would probably be around the middle of my like overall eyeshadow palette ranking. This is a really gorgeous palette, but people were so excited for this release, and I know that has to do with the nostalgia, the packaging, it being so freaking cute, but it just, I think it got a lot more credit than it deserved. I enjoy this palette. I like the really soft washes of color and I think that it fits the Sailor Moon aesthetic really, really well. But if you don't really love Sailor Moon and you just bought this because you thought it was going to be a really, really pretty pastel palette, I definitely think you would be pretty disappointed by it. While I do love this palette, I just don't think that it was worth the hype. The next category is a favorite palette from a favorite brand. And that is going to go through my Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. I now have four, five Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes, so I definitely would consider it a favorite in the world. And this is my favorite Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette that I own. This could also fit my everyday palette category but again I just had to give it to with the Naked Heat palette but this is truly tones that I love. This for me is like my absolute most perfect palette. It is so beautiful. I love these really intense warm fiery tones and I just love this palette. I do love all my Natasha Denona palettes but this one for sure takes the cake. And then for my most used palette I'm actually repeating a palette here and that is going to be my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe eyeshadow palette. Not only did I use it like on literally so many people when I did makeup for that musical but I reached for this so much. As you can see, it is very, very, very well loved. It is very dirty, and I'm honestly surprised that I have a pit pan on some of these shades, especially this shade right here. I feel like every single time I use this palette, this is a shade that I reach for, and it has a pretty good dip going in it. Honestly, a lot of these do, like this one up here called MFEO, a huge dip in it and I am just honestly shocked at how much I've used this throughout the years. And the very last category is a palette that I've used every single shadow in, and besides a few of my palettes, like the Morphe 39A and like my ColourPop So Jaded eyeshadow palette, besides those, I have used every single shade in every single other palette that I have in my collection. So this one was a little bit difficult to choose which one because I could have pulled literally any palette from my collection into this category, but I kind of changed this category so it was easier for me to pick a palette for it and I kind of changed it to a palette that I've used every single shadow in and loved every single shadow in. And for this one, I picked my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. 
Now, I lusted after this palette for so long, and I got it for Christmas last year, and every single shade in this palette is so beautiful. This is 100% a pastel palette. You don't get a lot of color payoff from basically any of the shades, but it is so pretty. It gives you the most beautiful, gorgeous, soft pastel looks, and it is just absolutely perfect. And I love every single shade in this palette. I love the shimmers. I love the mattes. And yeah, that is a palette that I have used every single shadow in and loved every single shadow. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing me chat on about all the palettes I have in my collection. I really do love every single palette that I own. And if you did like this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you go. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!